So good morning to one and, one and all are present here. So now we are going to discuss uh, a new topic in problem solving and Python programming. Let me share my screen. That is in unit two, we are going to discuss about variables. Okay, in unit two, we are going to discuss about variables. Let me project my presentation. So in unit two, as I told already, we are going, we are discussing in unit two, in unit two, we are going to discuss about variables. Myself, Bala Murugan from Department of CSC, working as assistant professor at Akshaya College of Engineering and Technology. So let us discuss one by one. So first we coming to the variables. Okay. So see the definition, see the highlighted points that I have shown. Uh, just a second. I will pinpoint this. A variable. A variable is nothing but it is an identifier. A variable is nothing but it is an identifier. It holds some value. It holds some value. So consider a memory location in a computer. Consider this is a memory location. So a memory has certain blocks. Memory has several blocks, not one block or two blocks. It, it contains n number of blocks. Each and every location uh, is named. Sorry, it is it has address. Each and every block in memory, it has some specific address like 101. For example, I'm taking 101. Another address is 102. Okay, each and every each and every block in memory has address. Okay. While accessing the value stored in this particular block, in you need to call the address. You need to call the address. In for this block, you need to call this address. So for each and every time, if you want to access the value stored in a particular block, you need to call the address of that particular block. So it is very, very tedious process. It is a very, very tedious process. So for example, you take a student named Dharanish. If I uh, if I call him his address if i call his address instead of name how it is how come it is possible now nah, it is not possible no so for that reason for that reason i am giving an name to each and every memory location okay i'm giving name to each and every memory location that name is called variable name Okay, that name is called variable name. See the second point. Technically speaking, a variable is a name given to the memory location. Okay, variable is a name. This is a very important point. A variable is a name given to the memory location. Okay, for what purpose? For storing the values. For storing the values. So, here there is no need to remember the address of the location. Okay, there is no need to remember the address of the location you know you no need to remember the address okay so a variable might have different values okay during each and every execution a variable might have different values okay so each and everything in python should be named should be identified with a variable with a function or with a class or module or object everything should be identified in python okay so this is this is about variables then we'll move on to the next slide. And we'll move on to the next slide. My slide is not changing. Okay. We'll move on to the next slide. Next slide. Next slide is nothing but rules for naming variables. Okay, rules for naming variables. I'll open ideally, Python ideally, to show you the to show the execution naming variables. Okay, you have to follow these rules. You have what are what are those rules? Okay, we'll discuss the rules one by one. I just I'll see. Just a second, I'll open the Python. See here it is located in desktop. Python 3.0, 64-bit version. Just hold a few seconds to open this version. Let me come to the PPT. So see the first rule. See the first rule. What is the first rule? Variable must begin with only letter. What they told? Variable must begin only with letter. Let us erase all the things. Let 
wanted to series all the things what they told variables must begin only with the letter okay letters may be or a to z small a to z or capital a to z okay and you can use underscore also okay and you can use underscore also then keywords we have discussed about keywords keywords like if else while do in like keywords it should not be a variable and there should not be any special symbol a variable should not contain any special symbol for example at at the rate of at the rate of okay exclamation likewise it should not contain any special symbols and then no blank spaces no blank spaces should, should be there okay variable names are case sensitive variable names are case sensitive right these are the rules for declaring variables in python okay let, let, let me show you lively how this is working okay let me show you lively in python ideally okay how it is working just a second let us erase all the things okay just a second i will erase everything one second for erasing why it is not erasing not it okay okay erased okay coming to ideally i'm closing this coming to ideally i think this is visible to you it's visible for everyone options you, you are going to configure the ideally configure ideally configure ideally i'm increasing the size to 22 apply okay now we'll see one by one so variable so a equal to 5 okay print a print a okay you get the value 5 so next point so variable should not variable name should not start with the digit so if i am giving 1a equal to 5 what happens it is showing a syntax error which means that a variable name should not begin with a digit then keywords should not be used as a variable name see here the showing error keyword should not be used as a variable name and then and then uh, uh, there should be no blank spaces in the variables okay uh, uh, for example i'm writing a variable bala space m u r u j n which is equal to 5 so it is also showing an error okay if there is any blank spaces you can connect the blank spaces with the help of underscore you can use underscore you can use underscore to connect the variables if i give print if i give print i'm using underscore in between bala and Morgan. i'm using underscore here and then close and then enter yeah okay so this is what then variable names are case sensitive okay for example when i'm declaring a i'm giving a equal to five okay when i'm printing i'm giving small a what happens let us see uh it is taking that a value okay we'll take an another value b equal to nine okay print i think this is visible to everyone print small b what happens see yeah it is an error name error name b is not defined do you mean b capital b okay do you mean capital b or small b it is asking okay so this is the mistakes so then next we'll go to creating variables that this we have seen already see the example n equal to 10 is correct valid name equal to joe that is correct pi equal to 3.14 is correct see the seven wonders this is illegal why it is illegal because variable names should not start with a digit and then you can give multiple assignment if there are two different words means student name this can be connected by giving underscore okay so let us this let us complete the session here and we'll continue the remaining topics in the next session thank you thanks for watching in the meeting